Happy birthday, big guy. For me, things are going great. Got a two-week gig here in Port Hope. Good luck, Mike. Happy mm. birthday to you. Happy Jody's birthday. wearing a little uh, pizza hat. I have a pizza hat filter on. It's my little party hat in honor of you because today is Amanda's <laughs> birthday. Amanda. Tell uh, us how you spent dad, your morning. I, I mean, I ate, like, I ate everything on earth for breakfast. It was so good. As you should. And then I watched Mrs. Maisel. And then my dad sent me an interact transfer, like, as a gift. And then he never said happy birthday, but he did text me saying, I bet you have a hundred Facebook notifications already. He's obsessed with Facebook, but he won't, he won't go on it because he judges old people that are on it. But so that's uh, like it, if a I popularity post contest. Yeah. It's, mm. if I post something like a picture of him and me or something, he'll, he'll text me and be like, who, who liked it? Tell me, read me every comment. I'm like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> but Whoa. anyway. You probably have a dozen polks already, Amanda. Oh, the polking. the polking. Also, I'm not sure if he's actually coming tonight to watch West Side Story because I've asked him twice over this past week and he's never responded. Not surprised. Don't even care. I, 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 I will just find stuff. I will probably just relax. I have a great idea. Post what? about that on Facebook. We will all respond and like it and poke you and then be like, oh, my God. I mean, there I'm are legions of people doing nothing waiting too. for you to come over tonight. Yeah. Well, but I did buy... Um, I, I was going to make us buffalo chicken dip to eat and then also pigs in a blanket. Easy peasy. Mm. That seems like mm -hmm. a little anticlimactic. Is there a dip with the pigs in the blankets? I was going to make like a homemade honey mustard. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Not a huge fan of pigs in the blanket, nor am I a huge fan of mustard, but I like this journey. Really? I fucking love mustard. I like this it's celebration. Just... Buffalo chicken dip is dip. That, that shit's good. I've never had it. Everyone raves about it. Just something about a shreddable chicken dip doesn't sound appealing to me. Mm. I think it's a texture thing. Okay. Well, I mean, it's so really I don't like just anything you're eating. It's just melted cream <laughs> cheese, basically. That's really what it is. It's spicy melted oh, well. cream cheese. You, you really don't even need the chicken in there. I mean, I That's live in the Midwest. The you throw in a condensed can of soup and a brick oh, yeah. cream cheese. Bada boom, bada bing, you got a meal. All right, so you have a couple nifty gifties to open. I do. I'm going to tell I, you. Also, my, my oh. aunt gave me one this, uh, this morning, and it's the biggest mug I've ever seen. And it says, my children all have paws. <laughs> yuck, 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 no. yuck, yuck. <laughs> I mean, it's the truth. But okay, yes. What order do you want me to go in? Okay, well, you already opened one that you yes. opened when we did our episode with Surviving Sister Wives. I did. It was a... Uh, a t-shirt and Costas. Costas. A boutique designed uh, specialized Coyote Pass shirt and coasters that I designed that are yes. available at our Redbubble shop. And I have to say, you know, I'm not one to toot my own horn ever. But it looks pretty cool. Like, it looks like if someone were looking at it, they would think it's a, a national park somewhere, right? Yeah. I did, no, I definitely, I thought it was like a real a real thing. And you're like, oh, are you sending me hiking so you can murder me now? But if you look <laughs> no, closer, really underneath it says Coyote Pass. It's not a pond. It's not a pond. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you got a couple more to open here. I have three more to open. I'll open this big flat one. Okay. Okay. That's what a lot of people say about my ass. So <laughs> that big flat one. Oh! It's just you really went logo. to town on our shop. It's just our logo so that you can frame it or put it up or something because I will put it right up there. We don't have anything from our own collection. No, of I don't. A lot of people own their own merchandise. Like every time you see Mitch from Doughboys, he always is wearing a Doughboys shirt. Oh, I love just, that. And, and Carling and Michelle are always wearing theirs, their their merchandise. And like on Carling's car, she has like a like one of those like stick on things that just says www. I did not sign up for this. ca on the back <gasps> of her Jeep. I was Whoa. like, I don't do any of that. I should do that. Well, you know, that's, a, ta that's a tax write-off, too. Did you know that? Well, I don't know how good really? laws are. Uh, yeah, because you're using it as promotion and marketing. We actually don't pay taxes up here. 
as I'm staring down an IV bag that's $27,000 yeah. this afternoon oh, for Charlie. Sucks. Yikes. Um, so, yeah, no, I love this. Daphne's going to hate this. It just says we love color, to hate TV. The, it's, it's, our, it's our logo, but it's like a big uh, I mean, cutout. The restraint that it took me, because I wanted to get you a huge tapestry amount of, but I knew Daphne would just. Oh, Daphne, she, every time she came in, she would just be like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like my uh, coat rack in my living room. She's still trying to get rid of that coat rack. Because, mm. cause, like, the coats go on it, and the coats don't match with the ambiance of the rest of the room. Right, like, but right. it's a coat rack. Did you want to open the closet and hang up a coat. It's easy Did you realize I just what? gave you a gift there when you mentioned Doughboys? I said, oh, my gosh, I love that. That was a little gift to you. I didn't can roll talk, my eyes or anything. Can we pause and talk about the tra- what Doughboys did to me on the eve of my mm. birthday? This, this is big. I, I, I had to immediately, I was, I was like, did I, cause I was about to drift asleep, I think. And then I heard it and I was like, no, no, they didn't just no, 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 say no, no, no. that. Surely. No. Okay. The Doughboys were talking, they were talking about, uh, like cook, they, they had ordered something called like cookie to coke, cookie to cookie or something. And Mitch was like, oh, it's like Requiem for a Dream, like ass to ass. Oh, the most and then they traumatizing talk about that- thing I've ever seen in a film. Right. I think there are more traumatizing things than that. Mm, um, no, that scared me more than The Exorcist. That freaked me out more than Silence this, of the Lambs. I just didn't like it. Psoriasis on my upper arm is fucking spreading. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Spread That's what I get on my 39th fire. birthday. And I get betrayed by my doughboys. So that then... psoriasis is spreading pit to pit. <laughs> so uh, then the... Tony Charlene, who was the guest, was like, actually, I don't think I've ever seen Requiem for a Dream all the way through. And they're like, oh, yeah, no, like it's a good movie, but it's, like, really grim. And then Weiger says, I can't imagine, like, meeting somebody, like, that if somebody told me that Requiem for a Dream is their number one favorite movie, I'd really have to think about that person. Like, I'd really be judging that person. And they talked about how, like, how that's just, that's an insane thing for that to be somebody's favorite movie. I'm, like, their number one fan. Yeah, and as and a matter of dissed, fact, they dissed me and my favorite movie. And wasn't it a year ago today on your birthday that there was like a Doughboys event and they took your question? Yeah. And you said, I should Mitch share is that my celebrity today. crush. Yes. And, he, and, the, and the response <laughs> I mean, was, they didn't Does know Amanda that. know what a celebrity is? <laughs> yes. I should have put in there, by the and way, Record for a Dream is my favorite movie. So mm-hmm. don't diss it. But um, I mean, I'm, I'm so offended. And I judge them both as writers. And filmmakers. Well, I guess it's. A, I'm still listening to them. The the, the turn that's like Trump my party favor. That's my party <laughs> favor for your birthday that I receive. What? That the Doughboys <laughs> have finally said something of of truth and value. I hate you. All right, keep up on okay. those gifts, birthday girl. Okay, this is. A, have you made a birthday you, wish I mean, yet? You, I mean, oh, what do you got? Are there? we making money off of your presents to me? <laughs> Uh, you know, I, mean, I had a fable. I did pay full price for it. I don't know. Oh, no. There's probably uh, some way that I did it, but I don't care. I was thinking today, I don't have a portable, like, clock. Well, you have to tell everyone what it is. It is, a, oh, I'm so bad at this. It's it's a portable coffee cup, Kofefe, um, and it's uh, it's our logo that says, so tiny, so, so cool, cool, so tiny, and it's a girl with a hoodie because she's so tiny. This is going to blow minds of people at my work. They're going to be like, what does that mean? Like, <laughs> I'm uh, so just... cold and I'm so tiny in here, obviously. Because it's so cold, so cold. Yeah. So, so there like, you go. Uh-huh. Okay, I you love that. You can drink that. your I'm tea def- or your hot coffee. I don't coffee. drink hot beverages. I don't like hot beverages. Or cold. Or... Oh, Diet yeah. Coke? I Screwdrivers. Coke drinker. Oh, there you go. Okay. Diet Coke. <laughs> I'm what on is a diet. this sugar thing? Okay, last one. <laughs> I think this is so funny. Ooh, this is. Was... Oh no, you don't like it. Is no. I... Okay. Now I have a. Okay, so this is a co- the Coyote Pass logo, and water it is bottle. the water bottle. So I have a hot and a cold beverage holder. How about that? It's a Coyote Pass. Yeah, exactly. So, oh my God, Jody! I really water had that bottle. thought today. I was, I was like, I need to buy a water bottle of some kind today, like a portable. And now I have two. What am I gonna do with these? You could like bring it on a little walk, hook it on a leash. I don't know, but whatever you Way do. Way to rub it in that I can't really go for walks. Okay, okay. <laughs> now there is one more gift that Justine okay. and I got you, but it, it oh. hasn't been delivered yet. So okay, because you would have known if it was delivered. So. 
Ooh, we're just gonna hold okay. off and it, oh, it'll be a little so belated okay. yeah well hopefully you like well, those gifts and you guys you. can go I know, and I see what everything. they look like at the shop or whatever shop around you're so. such a good businesswoman you're making your your co-host happy and you're also promoting our I, brand it, i sincerely didn't mean to do it that way because i was going to get you new Doughboys merch because you're still looking for that shirt, but then... That Burger Brigade. I'm not really actually looking for it. I still haven't unpacked my closet. <laughs> okay, well, then you said that you were kind of... You didn't think that they were that good. So I had to change directions and then here They're we not an instant listen anymore. They've, they've just dropped down a tier. Doesn't mean I'm going to mm. unsubscribe or something. I love that. crazy like that. I love right. that. Well, thank you, Jody. I love yeah. everything. And they... Honestly, these are really good quality products. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah, no, truly. That's good they're like they're va- you can tell they're good quality. Well, yeah, I mean Redbubble. That's kind of where everyone does their stuff, I think, for the most part. So, and it shipped totally. really quickly. And I'm really not trying to like <laughs> pimp this out. I was expecting it to take a while to get to Canada. You got these like three weeks ago. They've been and sitting you in knew, your house for a month. And you knew the you knew where Holy that person shit. was. It's like carrying Red these bubbles. items between Redbubble. The U.S. Post Office and the Canadian Post and your postal deliverer person and your next door neighbor. I was getting like 18 <laughs> things a day on each item. It was insane. But uh, I'm glad let's, you'll like it. Uh, let's get off to a great start, Latrice, huh? Yeah. And Aww. George was helping us produce today. He came up and said hello to Jody because we're having a little birthday little party Georgie. in here right now. Yeah. little mysterious and... guy. All right. So... I know that you have... Just don't. I actually gave you another gift that you didn't know was going to be so beloved, and that is the gift of this season of Real Housewives of Orange County. Oh, I don't know if that's a gift or if, if I'm, like, mad at you for it still. <laughs> but now, because on Hulu... Just okay. got to turn my... Uh, P- turn right. my Wi-Fi off so my phone thinks that it's in the U.S. and then I can watch Hulu. It's yeah. really fucking annoying. But... Um, all of the seasons of Housewives are on there, just not the current season. So I bought the current mm-hmm. season, oh, watched good. it all. Um, I just didn't want to wait. Yeah. And that drops tonight, too, eh? I believe so. Yep. Oh, my God. Michael? I'm so excited. Okay. And, and I, now I just want to, I want to go back, but then I saw, <clears throat> I saw something on Instagram, I think, this morning that was like a throwback to the first, like, I don't, I don't the even know The very what. first season. Yeah, and it was like yeah. a throwback to like, and, mm-hmm. and they also, they all looked like they were like in like the 90s. Like they all looked so like. Oh, yeah. Like not rich at all. They oh, were, it was early 2000s. You know. Yep. And and I didn't recognize any of them except for that Vicky woman because it's because I know of her. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, I don't know any of these people. So it's going to be weird because now I know these people. No, you, these are you my bebés. You don't want to go back and watch every season of Orange County. And that's why it's okay. very that's different. That's what you said about Sister Wives. And I, and I did it. Well, no, you're in Sister Wives once you... See, but it's different because Sister Wives are the same people. What I was getting to is Orange mm-hmm. County has had so uh. many different casts and mix-ups. And people okay. go and then they come back. And there's like boyfriends and husbands. And uh, it, it's not worth it. This is a good season to jump in. Mm-hmm. Maybe if you want to go back to last season, you could. But you're going to see, again, like some one-season people, two-season people. But I think you just, like, enjoy this. And then let's see where next year takes you. Okay. Next season. Oh, by the way, remember how I had found that girl at work that I thought we were friends? But it turned out mm-hmm. she fucking mm-hmm. despised mm-hmm. me. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> there is a. I was working, and this was, like, totally organic. I said something, like, just off the cuff we were working together yesterday and I'm like yeah I'm like I really I just all I want to do when I at the end of the day is just go home and watch some housewives and she was like oh my god are you watching Salt Lake City and she's like seen everything and I was like okay so that was easy yeah so I found found another one exactly once you know you have a and shared I don't think this girl interest. secretly hates me well we'll find <laughs> out because <laughs> this is the public podcast so maybe she's listening maybe she's googled you and found you Amanda <sighs> oh Canadian Google find. like filters all that kind of stuff out <laughs> It just, like, wants everyone to be friends. It just shows the best of everyone. Right. Okay, but okay so, so what do you think? Let's kind of go through yeah, people. Yeah, I, wanna, I was thinking, different. like, you... Uh, this this is this sounds narcissistic, the way it's going to come out of my mouth. But I was oh, say, no. Like, you, like, I want you to ask me Here questions. Here we go. Okay. That's it. Oh, it's okay. all it was. Just, like, you, like, what do you think of this person? Because it's all, like, really still fresh in my 
Okay, mind. I thought you were going to be like, I know this is going to sound bad, but like, I kind of thought this is a show like someone like you would watch or something. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. I was just going to say like, if you ask me like, what do you, because otherwise I'm just going to ramble. Sure. I mean, well, of course, like the question everyone's going to ask right off the bat is like, what do you think of Shannon? Okay, that's, she, okay, well, also a lot of me liking her so much is mm-hmm. based on the Watch What Crappens impression. Yes, yes, yes. They really, they really can. She's um, kind of like a, like Crappens Ramona, where you're like, oh God, like she's kind of insufferable. I mean, Ramona's a terrible person. I don't think yeah. Shannon's a terrible human like Ramona is. Yeah. But she's a lot. She's high maintenance. She's a narcissist. I don't believe for a second that the editors and producers don't listen to Watch What Crappens because it sound, it seems like sometimes they're weaving the storylines around whatever <laughs> Crappens going, like, is ooh, saying. Ooh. Like, oh, they have a really funny Shannon impression. Let's, like, to. make her more of a clown this season. Because mm-hmm. that's what she – like, this whole season – Again, I this is based on the this is the only season I've seen. She seems to have been getting the best edit. I don't think she did anything wrong. Oh, this she's season had at all. Bad. She's had good and bad ones though, for sure. But like the part where like uh, there's this really funny juxtaposition where I think she's meeting Heather for mm. drinks or something, and Heather is just like chilling there, like the wind blowing in her hair, and then it like plays like some circusy music and. Uh, and Shannon's walking in stilettos on like a dock, and her yep, heels yep, yep. keep getting caught in in the in the, uh-huh. in the divots. And she's like, "Oh, go, I can't, can't, can't walk in." <laughs> that's always walk in that's always Shannon cut on her, but like, "Oh, I didn't know you were going to ask me that, Heather." So you got to the point where Heather was like, "If you ever, Yo, yeah, 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 my family," and that's like a running bit now on crap. I know on watching crap. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I mean, that is like peak Heather. Okay, so Shannon, you can enjoy the humor in her weird and sometimes bitchy and kooky personality. Right, but she hasn't... Great. To me, she has not been bitchy at all this season. It yeah, seems like she's on a little bit of a redemption season, and she's being careful. So, I good. And she was the one who walked into the quiet woman when I was there for that thing and, like, turned right. into, like, oh, I'm not doing this, and walked out, whatever. Okay, so what about... Okay, let's just get Heather. I mean, let, we got to talk about Devella DeBall. Okay, well, I can't again, stand also, Heather. Listening to Watch Her Crappens does kind of shape my opinions, because because uh, they it's not like they're saying like they point stuff out and then that's all I can think about. I'm like, no, they like really are. Yeah, but they're pointing okay, out things that are there. They're yeah, not that are there. It up. Yeah, Heather and Terry are just like. The worst. They're the. I really. I think Terry is my least favorite on the show, mm-hmm. just because he's so busted, and I can't. <laughs> like I think that's one of those busted face. men I've ever seen. Yeah, his nose looks like it's. It's there's that bigger. condition. Well, you know, there's that nose condition where like oh, it I like kind of, and it, it, like you, you got to get it like soldered off, <laughs> and it's starting to get like those wrinkly divots in it. Yeah. Oh yeah. And then that's fine, but you're a plastic surgeon. Yeah. Well, it's like his nose is growing because I think he's getting old or he has that, uh, I don't know, wooden nose condition that just grows. And he's also injecting like things in his cheeks to try to get rid of wrinkles. And he's doing Botox. So it just looks like this crazy saw or what is that for the movie saw? Like that crazy clown face. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he kind of has that look going for him. And, like, you're right that they they are so... Because I had said last week, like, oh, I can't wait for them to break up. But now, having watched the whole season, yeah, mm. like, I can see that they will stay with each other yeah. to the end and put on this persona. Oh, yeah, like, they're like, always, like, they're kissing both each other. So obsessed with themselves. Oh, let's have some champagne. Oh, the seven-year stitch. We're just going to fix people's relationship. Shut the fuck up. It's real easy for you to sit there in a in millions and millions of dollars and to be like, well, we just worked on our relationship. Yeah. Well, it's easy when you don't have the stresses of like an actual job and yeah, bills to pay. You just build another house, go on vacations, whatever the hell you want. Come on. Um, Ugh. right. So now I'm not waiting for them to break up. Yeah. I'm waiting with bated breath for something to be found out. Like where there's like fraud and mm. he gets shipped off to jail. That's been talked There's about. no way they have that much money for he real. He has a plastic surgeon and a... Yeah, like, I know that they make a shit ton of money, but doesn't seem like she does much other than housewives. She was an actress. Maybe good investments? I don't know. That's a lot of money. Like, this is, like, richy rich, like... Yeah. Oh, richie, I, I rich, mean, rich. I know. I'm just... 
Bachelor. <laughs> she knows it too, and she wants everyone else to. Know. Oh, I know. Like when, and the way she does it, where she's just like, "Oh, I'm not bragging. No, you're fucking bragging. You bring people on tours of your house." Ugh. And then she goes to Gina's house, and she's like, "Do I get a tour?" And Gina's like, "I guess." You're like, standing you wanna... there. You see the family room, the kitchen, <laughs> the circle, turn the half bath, circle. the laundry mm-hmm. room's right there. There you go. And then Gina pulls out her wedding dress and she kind of starts, she gets emotional. She's yeah. like, I just was keeping, listen, most women hang on to their wedding dresses, right? Yeah. I did get rid of mine in the move because I'm like, I've just been hauling this thing all over the place. Yeah. So, but, um, like, she, a lot of women do keep theirs. Even Christine sure. found something to do with her busted ass dress on Sister Wives. She made yeah. it into like three flowers I have for mine. McCulty's. Never got it dry cleaned. I never got it cleaned. Because I'm like, my. If I at the time I was like, if I ever have a daughter, she's not gonna want to wear this. But same thing, well, like the maybe trend we'll might make it into though. something or what? yeah, exactly. Well, and that's I what Gina said. She's like, maybe they want thing. it. The polyester oh. shit's probably gonna fall apart by then, please. Well, but she's like, maybe my children want to cut it up and make it into something. Yes, and she's like, getting exactly. emotional. So like, what? And 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 um, Heather's like, mm, that's cute. How about we give it to an unfortunate person? Yeah. <laughs> Let's just give it to the poor's, okay? Mm. Meanwhile, I'm pretty sure. Uh, it was either Heather or another housewife or two. They actually like framed their dress where it looks like a full yeah. mannequin is wearing it, and it's like in their closet, like framed out, like artwork That's or cute. something. I mean, why not? If that was like really good day for you, a happy day. Yeah, and it's like a whatever fifty thousand dollar dress or something. Sure, whatever. But yeah, would <laughs> would she She's ever do bully. that with her own shit? No. And the way the mm. fact that she came over with jackets from her own fashion line that now she's launching and then she's shady she's like i didn't know what size you are so i got a bigger size yeah i got like a small and a medium (laughs) and you know gina's like i'm fitting into that small of them and heather put it on the rack so she wouldn't have to physically touch that grade of cotton or polyester (laughs) she's like oh just push it in yeah she's such a bully and like gina is okay, yeah. like, what do you think of Gina and Emily? I do I do like Gina. I find Good. her to be relatable. Uh, People hated them in their first couple seasons. I can't remember if this was like their third or fourth season. They just thought they were mm-hmm. boring, annoying. They had nothing to offer. They're starting to blossom a little, but I get it. Like, yeah, she, I mean, I don't, I, th- I mean, I know that she, they need to have a storyline and probably at the beginning of the season, the producers are like, okay, like you two are going to be a little friend group. And right. Then, like, I'm sure they conspire against. That. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So they like go to New York and then <laughs> Shannon throws that party. <laughs> like, yeah. That party Shannon where they end up in like, the pool. Huh, I'm a chef now. I'm going to go in the water. Oh, oh, so cold. Archie. Archie. <laughs> I'm going to pee in my pants. I'm going to pee in my pants. He says that twice this season. I think it's such a funny expression for some reason because most people just say, I'm going to pee in my pants. And she says, I'm going yeah. to pee in my pants. I love it. <laughs> uh, but but they're really making that into like, uh, who's Emily? She Again, she doesn't look like an Emily. No, she Emily looks like, looks a, like a, G- or a Gina or to me. That's why she does look that. like a Gina because she looks more like, eth- am I allowed to say the word ethnic? She just looks like she's like, uh, more eclectic or like she glamorous. just looks very eighties styled makeup and hair to me. Yeah, like Gina Victoria. Yeah, she's like, yeah, so just... beautiful. I think she actually needs to ease off the eye makeup to make. Oh her yeah, eyes she stand she out. has the Shayna eyes from Love Is Blind. Yeah, like when she's listening to someone, her eyes are just really like fluttering together. Right, but. I don't know what she's doing. Like she, I think she might actually be the villain of the season because she's starting shit out of nothing, mm-hmm. and uh, she like she, she's like I think that G- are you Shannon? Are you jealous of Gina and Heather's relationship? And Shannon's like no, but I don't yeah. really know if Shannon really does give that much of a shit. I think she and then they does. keep bringing it up. Well, okay, but she doesn't talk about it. Is she not allowed to feel jealous? Well, yeah, this is housewives, so no, you're not okay. allowed to be I still need to wrap my head around the concept of the whole thing. It's just to get under Shannon's skin, because when you get under Shannon's skin, she loses her shit, and then that's good TV, because she loses her mind. Like, they keep going to that flashback where Shannon looks like a completely different human being, by the way. Yeah. When she was with David. David. Uh, when she was like, you will, someday, you will all see the truth. When she lost her goddamn mind, that's what they want to happen. And by the way... Terry and Heather did gaslight her and make her look like she was crazy. Because as she was saying, 
they said, we're going to take the Dubros down. That's what we heard. They're like, no, you're crazy. You didn't really hear that. And she's like, no, I did. And then Heather's like, I think we need to call 911 and have her committed. Because I think she's having a psychotic break. She oh said that. Oh, my God. So then she's like, I'm not having a psychotic break. I'm not crazy. And then Heather's just telling all the women, she's like, I think we should. So she's a bitch. She's a monster. I, but, like, Heather Heather also bothers me because she's the Mary Cosby in the group where everyone's Ooh. so fucking scared of her. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she has money, but, like, who cares if she doesn't like uh, you? Yeah. Like, who cares? How about she's her so, mom, like, though? nothing. Oh, what a monster. Uh-huh. When she... With when the she, waiter and the waitress. Yeah, when she's like, that's how you set a table. Oh, your food... I mean, good luck eating your food tonight. Oh. You're going to have the shits. Uh, I was just going to say, like, I hope they like, all sorry. just hocked a loogie in her cocktail. And that's they were at just... Tao. I, I I have lots of friends that have worked at Tao. They're not... Ma- like, they're making money, but they're not, like... You know, it's not like this career waiter type job where, like, the, the waiters truly care. Like, oh, no. Yeah, also, like, they're all 20-year-olds who, tr- who are trying to do theater. And this is a part-time job for them. And they all go, that waitress walked right back and was like, what can we do, for, what can we do to this uh-huh. bitch's food? Yeah, for mm-hmm. sure. You're not a having bitch. dinner with the queen and it's like a 12-course meal and you have to have a whole setup. I don't know if I've ever been to a restaurant where it's like all properly set out. It's rolled in a napkin. Here you go. Hope yeah, I would never leave it. Still know. in there, you know. Also, oh, when she ordered steak, I, I know you know the waiter was like, just don't order the steak because steak has a specific temperature to be cooked at. Like, so that'd be the only thing I would not want her to order. But yeah, she goes with the filet mignon, and then she like, she wants it medium rare, but 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 not red right at all. Yeah, no so red, medium, well. medium. And she's like, no, 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 medium. Not medium. Well. She goes, not not in New York. Okay. Oh, my God. Yeah, I hate them. Anyway, so, okay, so Gina, Emily, you, you're like, yeah, they're cool. They're likable on the show. Yeah, I want to talk about Gina's husband. Because he's, you had described him to me last week, but Wait, I hadn't met him yet. ex-husband or boyfriend? Not Gina. Um, Emily. Oh, Emily's Emily, husband. Shane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shane. Oh, and, like, you described him poorly. He's just, like, such a little troll. Uh-huh. And he's so, what do they call it? Like snarkasm. King of snarkasm. <laughs> yeah, watch what crap. Such is. a like. I can kind of maybe see how they have like a weird like Gino Jasmine understanding where like they do kind of get along. Like, I they don't have, like, a weird think he's like that twenty four hours a day. I think exactly. he defaults think to that out. on camera. That's kind of yeah. what she. Okay. Again, I met this woman once, so it's not like I'm not trying to be like, oh my god, I know her. But she was saying because we actually had like a really sweet conversation about I think I had talked about this earlier like surrogacy because obviously I was a surrogate and she her sister carried her kids so like we were talking about that kind of stuff and and she's like and that's like people think that Shane's like such a dick but like he was there like we went through all this stuff and you know like when you go through that sort of a thing with your partner and he's like crying and we've trying to been through this and um and she's like and during their first season he had quote unquote like kicked Gina out of their house because it was late and she's like it's just like his personality and he just like kind of gets grisly or bristly like that as like a defense mechanism and again I'm not defending him like I think he can be a dick and I don't think that's necessarily healthy for a relationship all the time well, and at the time also, I was like, like don't I think protest he, too much but his wife is so much more attractive than him I think he's also def- super defensive yeah and I think that's his that. default like when the camera's around he tries to be like funnier or likable yeah. and I've he's like the Seth totally of the season of the of that, where you try too hard yeah you know and then you, like, like it's almost like um Natalie with Natalie and Shane on Love is Blind, how, like, she was so nervous that she just defaulted to being, like, really mean to him. Yeah, but you yeah, know that yeah, that's yes. really not how she is in a relationship. Yeah. She's just, like, she goes full snark. But, yeah, he, I mean, just the more I got to know him this season, I was like, oh, my God. But I kind of like having, because they only sprinkle it's him It's comic in. relief. It is. And they only, you, they, they, I'm sure there's, like, hours of usable footage where he's just normal, but they only uh-huh. edit in, like, the douche parts. Where he cut um, in line in Gina at the, at his, uh, what was it? The oh yeah, at his own the bar, the bar exam. Yeah. Crappen said he didn't pass the bar. The bar passed him. Aww. It's just so. It's just like who's gonna hire him? No, I guess I. Where did I just read this? Like he has been practicing law, but not in California. 
Because California oh. is, and I, I mean, everyone knows I, yeah, this, like, California really is, hard. like, the hardest state to pass. So, right. he, I don't know, he's been doing law out of some other state. I don't know, whatever the hell. Um, but anyhow, yeah, I mean, it's just funny when he comes on screen. Like, yeah. the last and episode, he yeah. walks in, he's like, uh, do I know anyone here? Mm-hmm. He just, like, walks around. I'll have to find a clip of the fight the first season they were on when Kelly Dodd didn't know that that was Emily's oh, husband and called her a that. dork. Maybe you call, yeah, dork. no, you told me about that. Um, uh, okay, so Gina, Gina's oh, no, ex-husband, um, Gina's on. boyfriend. Wait, I was gonna say something. Oh, they okay. So like the men in this cast, I feel don't really like they'll they'll come to the events and stuff, and none of them really seem that thrilled to be there. What Except Terry. Except Terry, he's like a cast member. He should not, he should be holding an orange at the beginning, for God's sake. And now there's always like, so Terry gross. said hi. Terry said hello. I just want to let you know Terry said hi. I don't give a fuck. Like, we're all supposed to be like, oh, Terry said hi to us? Oh, my gosh. No, like, he'll call in. That second yeah. episode where, like, um, Heather gets mad. And I believe that she did slam someone against the wall. I 100% oh, I don't. That. Really? Noelle oh, is a it. fucking weirdo, but we'll talk about her in a second. Oh well, I forgot about Noella. She's she's fascinating to me. I'm I, I want her to definitely be on next season. I'll give her another shot. But okay, Gina. Yeah, no, I think she, I I love her hair. Yeah. Um, I just I find bad, her relatable. Bad hair journey, just so you know. Because like I watched uh, I watched flashbacks. I was trying to watch the reunion at work yesterday, but there were like way too many dogs, so I couldn't. But. I did see a couple flashbacks just with the closed captioning on, and I couldn't even recognize her. Okay, well, she had long hair, and then yeah. she had a hairstylist over, and they cut her hair going for what she has now, but it mm-hmm. did not turn out that way because they went a little too short in, like, um, white white bleach blonde. Yeah, okay. And it fried her hair to fuck, and it just, mm. it just, like, did not work. So then she tried to put extensions in, and, like, you can't have short hair and stick extensions in. It just looks a freaking mess. So she's yeah. finally at a good place with her hair, thank God. Yeah, it looks good. It looks healthy. Yeah, yeah I like her. Um, I don't really, they, they don't really show her new boyfriend that much, yeah. which is fine. I think he's like beige, whatever. Uh, okay, she's so my, like the stars, okay, like I don't know why you said that everyone thinks that the, that Dr. Jen is boring because, I mean, she didn't really do much this whole season, but that dinner party episode. Oh, she brings like, some weird energy to the show, which is good for the season. Like, that dinner party, ep- I texted you about that. Mm-hmm. I was like, this is like the best, like, 20 minutes of television I've seen in a long. Just, I mean, like, look, Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. Oh, God. Angle it. So, no, Salt Lake like, City, angle. everything's a mess. They're fighting yeah. all the time, all the time. So, you don't get a break, but this was such a slow, slow burn. Slow burn, yeah. And then just... And I kind of love how uncomfortable all the rich people at the table are because they just don't know what to do. And her husband is so fine with this. Like he's, but I feel bad for him. I mean, I think he's probably a bad person too because of the way they met. I think he's, yeah, yeah. And he's never had a job in his life. Oh, cool. That's hot. Apparently he like, I don't know, has a company that does luxury rental properties uh, or something yeah, but it's me like too. Mm, yeah exactly <laughs> yeah. uh just like, uh, i think he's a weird personality i think he doesn't know how to deal with her i think she does expect him to read her mind a lot if they're a weird match i think he's a, probably a really good dad and when he found out yeah. she was pregnant he's just like i have to step up for 18 years so yes but i you think they're gonna to get listen to that. i just started listening to the this podcast that I know everyone's been listening to and they've been on a bunch of other ones, the Bravo docket. And they go into her past with her ex and other things that she's been sued for. I did look that up. Yeah. So, okay. But yeah, but that that dinner party, just how, how much Heather was just so like when he, would you even think of it? If somebody put like a napkin on their collar at that kind of a dinner? Yes. I, I mean, guess I don't think it would even register to me. It wouldn't offend me if you I wouldn't were even at, notice. If you were at no, I mean this is not like, you know, you're at Chili's or you're at Buffalo Wild Wings and they ordered wings and you're like, okay, well, whatever. Like they might drip. You're at a a full service catered by Nobu in this beautiful home, dining with other millionaires. And you bring sure. your boyfriend, your spouse, and they... I can they... almost guarantee I've seen, like, on Sex and the City, like, Big putting on, like, a napkin when he's eating, like, steak. That's a TV show. I'm talking about in real life. Like, actual... 
<laughs> read the room. Just... Read the room. Well, I mean, he didn't read the room. I mean, I could feel the room when that happened. She's like, take it. I mean, I under- I also understand her discomfort because then no matter what she's she says, she looks, like, on TV. she looks like. Well, also, but also she TV. looks like an asshole to him by being like, okay, you're embarrassing me. You're embarrassing me. Because now you're a bitch that said that I was embarrassing you. Yeah, but he's tr- I think in that moment she was trying to save him. Like, oh, they're, you I know, know they're she gonna was. This. Yeah. But he's still going to bring that up later and say, you, like, well, let's I be honest. Like, this is me. They're a mess. <laughs> that actually, I actually thought that was pretty funny. That was like the one funny thing Terry said. I mean, he's such a piece of shit. But, yeah. oh my God, the amount of drunk she was getting, like, who? That's why it's really the, good. It's the, really it's good. good. It's good wine. It's good. It's just good. It's just really good. <laughs> I mean, I can't believe she didn't have alcohol poisoning. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, How no, many what glasses about did you think she had that night? Oh, I think she probably had like three bottles, I bet. Yeah, like a good 15 glasses or so. I'd be yeah. so sick. I would be oh, so afterwards. sick from wine. Yeah. Oh, Let's yeah, talk about Noella here because we still got to talk right. about some 90 Day Fiance here. Um, yes. Okay, Noella. so Noella. I think she's batshit crazy. I don't like yeah. her. I don't want her on another season. I can't take her. I think you'll, she'll turn on you like on a dime. Like I don't know if she I has any real it. friends. But I like that she just calls out Heather. Like I love that Heather can't really yeah. spar with her. Yeah. Like when she called Heather over and they had that meeting in because her in her podcast room, her her homage to herself. She's like, this is the only quiet room in the house. I'm like, you live like in an empty I know. mall mall I know. house. But just the fact that Noella won't fucking kowtow to her. Yeah. OK, I like that part. But she's just exhausting. Like, it's just yeah. constant her whining or judging and complaining and thinking she's above everyone out of any of those women, she for sure treats the staff oh, oh, yeah. like the worst out of anyone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it seems like Heather is at least fake nice to them, especially in the camera. Yeah, although around. Jeff Lewis, I think, called out Heather Dubrow as being extremely rude to mm. wait staff when he was with her or something. And he's like, I can't be friends with someone like that, which is saying a lot. I don't know who Jeff Lewis is. Yeah, you do. If you saw his face, you'd know. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, and no, she's, I mean, she's fine. I just, because she's so crazy. I mean, also this this story, that, that's a real funny, like, whoopee for her. Like, uh, like a whoopee cushion for her. That oh, she spent yeah. the whole first first two episodes talking about how great her marriage is. Oh, I mean, that, that makes that great happened. TV. I mean, that's hilarious. It's, it's, I mean, it's um, awful, cause it but. Because he's just so sweet and our sex life is amazing. We have a sex dungeon. But, um, oh, God, and just I the fact that he had, the, he had to send her flowers the second time so that she'd actually accept them. Because she's also that dumb. That she yeah. would be like, oh, flowers for me. Oh, I can't stand her. <laughs> And she's so condescending yeah. to her mom. And her mom seems a little goofy, too. Yeah. Is that everyone? I think so. I think we got mm-hmm. everyone. Um, I love it. I love it. I'm, oh, I'm so glad. Gonna, I'm just going to keep watching it. It's mm-hmm. it's easy peasy. Watch it in the background. Mm-hmm. You don't have to pay as much attention as, like, a New York, for example. Mm-hmm. It's just, it's light. It's fun. It's a different energy than New York, I feel like. Right, and well, I I'm love gonna, New York. It's my maybe that's one. what I'll do today, unless my dad happens. Yes. He's probably just going to show up at like 9 p.m. Mm. Like, are you ready to watch West Side Story? I'll be like, I'm in bed. <laughs> I've been in REM cycle for an hour. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, speaking of going to bed, Kim Bali <sighs> and Usman on 90 Day Fiance. Oh, what I wanted to open <laughs> this episode with no. was an homage to Kimberly just going, Desperado. <laughs> Why don't you come to your senses? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Like, what else do you need besides a swift kick to the fucking head to understand he doesn't want anything to do with you? He just wants to I end don't... things on a friendly note and then bye-bye. But he, No, but then he makes go. this big grand gesture. Because he felt like he had to. Yeah, he, want, he wants that Nintendo back. And he can't leave it where she's thrown water at him because all of his fans could have seen it, Amanda. That could have <laughs> ruined his you don't, you don't image as Soja Boy. Like God, when he comes out, I, I, oh. I texted you that. I was like, <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, and she is, like, sliding off her chair. 
Her basement and was this song flooded. sucked. I uh, okay, so I watched this at work without the sound on. Okay. And so I was just kind of glancing back. Like, I've, I've seen it three times already. Don't sure. worry. I've watched okay. this more than once. Okay. But the first time I'm just watching and I'm just seeing that what is happening. I can't even hear the song. And I was like, this is... I don't know who uh-huh. I felt more cringy for, her or him. Well, like, and then looked worse. The producers at first put the music over everything, so it sounds like oh, there's maybe like a big speaker playing it. Yeah. No, no, he was playing it off of like voice memo off his phone yeah. with the background. Oh my god! And he's just singing along to oh. himself. And she's like, oh my god, this was my fantasy, like to have a private concert. Like this was your. You fantasy? and I have talked about this. <laughs> a private concert is the last thing I ever want. Like, if they're, if I'm getting a private concert, I'd be like, you're obviously going to dig my grave because I need to die now. I can't. Because you're, you're performing too if you're getting a private concert. You yeah. have to sit there and perform the whole time. Uh-huh, and be like, oh, like, is it over? Oh, another verse, okay. Oh, great. Mm. And then eventually your smile just turns like, concrete on your face but like it's not actually a smile anymore That's it's just the like angela with the flower like okay what do yeah. i do with this okay. uh-huh. god good this was Yay. really rough oh, okay well, so that's all i brought I down was really gonna make that song that song and then she's like we are obviously coming to my room tonight and he's like no 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 please god no like just go and have sex with someone find someone on the uh, uh grinder to Tinder, Tinder, whatever it is that you guys find yourself. I can't with. not think about the fact that you said that she looks like a Hanna Barbera car. She does. It's exactly what she looks yeah, like. Yeah, she was like born to be a Hanna Barbera. It's the, it's the profile around the mouth area. Yeah, it's the longer cheek region, like, you know, like like going and down. And the tight, sir. that tight half pony on top of her head. Yeah, yeah, she's kind of got like a. I know. Like a, a cone head. It's just not good. Not good at all. Yeah, she sucks. But, okay, Gina uh, and Jasmine. So do, you, do oh, we think that they will be at the reunion? Uh, maybe. Or but it's going to be. Together? He's just dragging her along so he can keep being on the show. I mean, he obviously has zero feelings for her. And she's right. an idiot. She's going to believe whatever the hell she wants to believe. I'd be so embarrassed if I was like her son. Oh my God, her son. Jamal. Jamal's going to, like, kick your ass if you don't have sex with me. <laughs> okay, Gino and Jasmine, uh, he got lost or something. She was going to go find him. He proposes in the most awkward way with the ring box facing himself. Facing himself? <laughs> oh, Gina. But I actually, okay, like, again, I was like, okay, I He's guess so I'm kind of rooting. For, I'm rooting for them again. He's so spectrum and <laughs> spectrum But... I Which do, is fine. Like like when, you, when he kneels down, like he's just more. so awkward. I know, yeah, it does. I know. And again, I think they do love each They seem to actually love each other. Yeah. Again, I think so, he's... I, I do think he's on the spectrum, but I also think he's like a huge weirdo creep. Don't get me wrong. Like, yeah. I don't want to spend time alone with him. I think Jasmine is, is a bitch. Mm-hmm. And she's got weird relationship things, but they do work together. And I knew and she I was going to hate this, that ring. Yeah, the thing that happened could have gotten. I think they can get past that. Yeah, I actually, I think do she realized of, like, oh, I kind of pushed it too far. Shit. Yeah, I brought it up that many times, and now he has more power in that. Yeah, yes. it's like, I I believe that he really was just trying to be like, look, X, look how hot my girl. Like, I think yeah. he was just having a little moment. Yeah. And honestly, like... Because he can't empathize. He can't. And even in his proposal, he talked about, like, I am so happy. You make me so happy. No one else can make me this happy. I love you. Like, it was nothing about her. It was about how he felt. Which could be part of it. But then also, like, you are the most, you know, X, Y, Z. She looks really pretty during the proposal she too. She did because at one right before he does it, she like takes her to hair and it's all wet, and she, and she brings it up. And I was like, "Oh my god, you were stunning!" Yeah, uh, I liked when he cried in the Talking Head. I was like, yeah. "Oh, you're crying!" Yeah, when he said, uh, "Me and Jasmine just got married," and they're like, "Oh, I need mean, to cute. But yeah. she was charmed by that. She was like, "Oh, Gene!" Oh, <laughs> no, like, "Oh, ja- Jasmine, do you like the ring?" And she's like. It's it's very it's Gino, Gino. and that, Gino. that makes me like it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's like, yeah, it was $10. Oh, God, because <laughs> it was the cheapest one in the shop. 
But uh, uh, Mazel Tov. Now, now he wants a uh, next episode. He wants a prenup. Oh, she has more money than go. you do, dude. Here we go. She Jesus. has an income. You don't have an income. That's why you spent ten dollars on her ring. All right, yeah. who's next? Uh, I am sexy baby. Memphis I'm sexy and Hamza. Jesus, you don't know, like Memphis? I don't. <laughs> like at some point, I wish. Honestly, a producer would have stepped in and said, so what made you change your mind? Because you were the one who came here and said that you weren't leaving unless you were married and you weren't going to have a relationship. And now at the 11th hour, you're Mm -hmm. going to say you don't want to get married without this prenup or postnup or whatever. Like she did a complete 180. Remember, he was like, no, I think we should like get everything said and. We don't have to rush anything. I think she's trying to self-sabotage the whole thing. I think she's just so... Used. I think she's kind of scared yeah. to actually have, like, a good life, almost. Ooh, which I get. I understand that. Yeah. <laughs> is it? This is very uh, I think she sees, like, oh, this could actually really work for me. This Like, there's nothing wrong here. Like, yeah. he's kind of... He has, you know, he has the... IQ of a five year old, but uh, his family, like, legit. I've I, very rarely oh do you see on 90 Day Fiance a family that embraces somebody yeah. so holy. They were, I, it was really touching watching all of these women just yeah. shower her with love, and they were just being like so nurturing and maternal with her it was so sweet and and the editors were really focusing a lot on her on a close-ups of of her face during this and it was interesting because she came in like ready to be like like blow this whole thing up and then as like they're dancing her around and dressing her in different things and taking her in carriage rides you can see her face like she's like you can tell she's really in her head and she's like holy shit yeah this is awesome yeah so it's good. I mean, I'm happy for them, too. I do see her point, though. Like, she does have kids, and... Yeah, of course. She, I, I see it. But again... But this, I think he will, he been will sign to a bring up Before you even went there, knowing that you were going to get married there, maybe do a little legwork, you know? Justine just sent us, and I didn't look at what it was, no. but it, she sent us a TikTok, and it says, Jack Barlow It's on TikTok. <gasps> so Jack Barlow must Baby have Baby a... Gorgeous. He must have put up a TikTok. Oh, baby gorgeous. Oh, my God. Uh, what, was, what else was I going to say? Oh, yeah. But, I mean, Hamza agrees to sign it. He always said he would. So I think he was like, yeah, what he the will. fuck? I said it. I don't think he's doing this to get money. They all just no. seem like they want to just, like, have just be a simple, have, have a simple life. And his mom is just like, do you love my son? I know. And he's so, so good. good looking. He is sexy, baby. He's very sexy, baby. So, great. I mean, yeah. I hope they're together at the reunion. I wish she would make an effort to... She won't, but because he's going to have to learn English. I know. But it would be really lovely if she would learn... Be patient? Some, uh, oh, yeah. Be patient, but also learn some of his language so that, you know... You know, uh, let's they be have, real. They're having She's another like, baby. You're going to have to learn it because you're here. You know, like, yeah, we live in America, like, so you're going to have to learn American. You speak English here. <laughs> Yeah. Um, okay. right. Oh, so uh, speaking of people who speak great English, Mahogany and Ben, De Belza De Ball. Actually, Mike and Hamina are, but um, <clears throat> this was amazing. Mahogany, let's just say, like, she's just a freaking weirdo. She's weird. She's yeah, bad at acting she... and she's a weirdo. I kind of think, uh, I kind of think that she, like, I thought this was a win for women i guess like that oh, she was sure, that she sure, was sure. that she's like oh like you kind of seem like a big scumbag i mean and i'm gonna not, leave <laughs> let's not put her up there with like gloria steinem or anything okay like, right <laughs> but at 22 that's pretty mature to just be able to walk away i mean yes i mean Ben's she definitely giving did her the what she should have done it shouldn't have gotten to this point where she had to do that because she could have just said oh look at my face i was lying to you I never thought you would actually come here. I'm not interested. Instead of like bring your mom and dad, be like, oh, well, my mom and dad don't approve of you. It's not me. You, it's my mom and dad. You know what I got to say, though? I'm really happy for her that she had the foresight to get an Airbnb so that he doesn't know where she actually lives. Oh, yeah, for sure. And again, like, that was sure really that was smart. I, can, I think all of us can understand why an Airbnb was rented. It's all wrong. I, like I said, I think she's a weirdo. She's just a weird personality, a weirdo. She did catfish him to a degree. 
but he is a bigger weirdo and I don't know if like predator is the right word. He's God, what's the word? Controlling. Um, well, he's also a big phony because yeah. we just found out that he got arrested for, I think, like, oh, his a DUI. third DUI or something like yeah. that. Wasn't it, like, Jesus that might be wrong. Juice, Amanda. But, like, okay, so, but it's just so interesting when these pious-ass, yeah. judgmental people get arrested for DUI. It's like, oh, I guess you're just like all the rest of us. Yeah. Oh, God didn't and you tell have a you vice. that you should stop drinking or... Oh, God, God must have not called. <laughs> and his mugshot, his, like, eyes, like, <laughs> I know. It's, like, extra wonk. And I don't uh, feel bad saying that because I think he's such a fucking idiot I know, he's and, a like, shit. a bad person. And he is controlling. And the, the fact that, like, all like all of the, she's she's told you not to come a few times. That's why she's I kept writing down. How times. many times and how many ways can she show you and tell you yeah. she doesn't want to be with you? And but that almost shows a level of narcissism in him that he's like, well, no, surely, oh, we can't imagine. Surely, this is a misunderstanding. I can win her back. Well, they talked on those texts, Amanda, and they danced on a train. Is he like fourteen years old? He's like, but on text it was different. So she different walks down time. there in her Carmen San Diego brown coat, and he walks in there wearing a um. Uh, is that like a Peruvian costume? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it looks like the like sweater is going... actually beautiful. He had a very yeah. pretty sweater on. I want But he would never have worn really that. Pretty. No. And, but then uh, uh, a hat. It wasn't so much the hat. It was the string in the, in the thing yeah, pulled the up under his chin. Yeah. Like a little kid's. It's like a like, bolero. Pow, pow. I'm a cowboy. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, what the like fuck? a 1940s little cowboy boy. He was and, so uh, shocked though when it was her and not she. He's and like, he handed oh, her a letter. He's oh, like, oh, your yeah. dad didn't come because I requested to speak with him, not you. Well, fuck you. You don't get yeah, to just like, like little call girl. upon people. Oh, very little girl. So she ends up staying and sitting down, and eventually she's like, oh, listen, I wasn't even gonna stay. I was just gonna give you the letter, and then he's like, okay, you can go now. Oh, like yeah. he, well, he's go, now allowing her go. to get up and leave. Oh, thank you for the permission that I can now control my body and myself. My but you will. know that she also she was it was like level of X like Kamena at this point where she just like yeah. wants to be done. She wants to be away from this fucking guy. So I think yep. she was just like thank God. Like as she was walking away, you know she was like, like oh, oh it's yes, done. It is done. It's over. Patch her bag. Got, got back the in fuck her out car. Of there. Yep. She, yeah, she drove like that is cold. four hours home. That is listen, insane. I'm thinking in her mind, I, I do think she was like, okay, yeah, like I'm leaving. He doesn't know I'm leaving. But I don't think in her mind she was like, oh, he's going to have to call an Uber because production's there. Let's be real. He could have hopped in the production van and they could have driven back No, I don't think, I really don't think they're allowed to do that. Well, well I know, but I'm think if I were her, that's how I would have thought. I wouldn't have oh. been like, oh, they have to. Right. Well, I saw like he's on... Home. One, on, like, one of the groups that I follow for 90 Day Fiance, but I think probably Sissy Squad, somebody looked up the travel between yeah. those two places, and you can get, like, a shuttle for, like, $13. <laughs> you can get, like, a cab for, like, $48. Oh, that's so awesome. So this, this, like, receptionist guy was just, like, Called up his brother-in-law and was like, yeah. dude, you can make an easy 300 bucks yeah. right now. <laughs> yeah, 300 and yeah. Ben's so mad. He's like, well, first we get that whole, like, aquí that fo- guy. Aquí para Benjamin. Oh, okay. Gracias. The guy's like, yeah, no, the, Benjamin. <laughs> the guy that he answers when he goes to her room and the guy's shirtless. That, I mean, that guy was, like, hired. That oh, was, oh like, God, yeah. that was that was so much yeah. central casting. He's like, K? Yeah. Oh, my room. And Ben's like, is there a ben girl? There's He's a like, girl? Mahogany? <laughs> a girl? There's a girl in there? The guy's like, what the fuck? He has like a trick in the He's bed. Like, Obviously, it's me, Chad, the camera guy. Okay, just play along. <laughs> I've been like, I've been putting on your mic the past three weeks, and you have never looked at my face clearly. <laughs> I accidentally touched your taint like five times. Yeah, 
we know each other. And you're so self-involved, you've never recognized It's just who Chad I was. with sunglasses on. Yeah, sunglass Chad. <laughs> sunglass shirtless Chad. Yeah. But oh then, so then he was surprised the way he, I mean, he started moving oh, yeah. quick down those he's stairs like, okay. to the pool. Yeah. He, he's in that his mode. His roll along, his roll yeah. along suitcase was cracking me up because he was moving too quickly for it to like steady. Yeah. So it was going like womp, womp, like, womp. womp. <laughs> and, and so at this point, he's still figuring it out. And he's like, okay, well, like, how she must be waiting at the reception desk. <laughs> <laughs> Mahogany room 301. The guy's like, she left last night. He's like, last night. And still, the wheels are still turning. And he's like, oh, he's how still not getting dare it. she leave she, me she's here She's showing a like level that. of immaturity. What kind of person is that? Uh, <laughs> not that much different than the person who flew down after she said, no, no, don't come. Multiple times. Who showed up in her town and waited like a psychotic serial killer at a restaurant past closing and only ordering water. Yeah. God. He deserves oh, it. Oh, so funny. He's so then, such yeah. An so asshole. then the receptionist uh, is, it ca- sets up a trap. He's like, it's ooh, uh, very expensive. Yeah. It's going to be, whoo. Yikes. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> really hamming it up. So. Yeah. Ben's mm-hmm. like, well, I guess that's what I got to do. He couldn't even pull up. Like, yeah, like, obviously there's got to be, like, a bus or a train well, or a shuttle or something. ask them that, sure. Eh? But then, in the meantime, maybe pull some things up on your phone. Yeah. <laughs> Figure it out yourself. Like, how else do people get there? Not every person drives themselves. This is, like, a resort. There's got to be some other way. Oh, or there's probably an airport like around him where he could just get a new flight home because that's what he should have done. Oh, but this is over. I think still at the other place. Maybe he's still got his stuff at the other hotel. Anyway, leave it there. He's got the rest of his pretty sweaters and his hats. He still meets up with her next episode, Jody. Oh, God, put it to bed. Um, Oh, speaking of beds. Dat Thomas the Tank Engine, Lightning McQueen got, bed, Mike and Helena. Got action once. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Do we just pick up in the bar? Because all I've been replaying in my head for the past couple days is the two of them oh God, shooting pool and him stalking her around the table. I'm kind of with him maybe on this one. Like, back the fuck off. I have a pool stick in my hand. If I, like, I have to be able to move it. Can you back up? Yeah. And he's and he very much see, the, see. Kind of, like, she'll give him an inch and he, and he immediately wants a mile. Cause she's like kind of forcing herself to have a genuinely good time. Yeah. And she's kind of laughing every so often. And then he's like, this is just so great that we're together. Isn't it great? I and just love being the, the two of us, just you and me. Yeah. It's great. And she's obviously picked that place to go because there's no other women there. She wants him to see other men staring at her. Because she wants to torture him. Uh, well, he, I don't think he's even noticing because he's so fucking focused on her. Oh, he was yeah, super he's... self-conscious because he's like, how do I look in my tiger shirt? Rawr. <laughs> God. She, yeah, he's like, you look beautiful. And she's like, mm, thanks, I know. He goes, how do I look? And she just goes, same. <laughs> and a thumbs same. Up. <laughs> Still Is this where she's wearing that, those... that like, headscarf Eyes. thing? Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah. Oh, she's like, there was she... also that scene. Sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, like, if you wear a headscarf, I feel like that implies, like, she's like, I didn't even shower today. I was just going to say. I'm not even putting the effort into, like, straightening my hair. I'm putting this headscarf on. Yeah. That's just like wearing, uh, I don't know, like, your a granny cap. panties to bed or something. Like, yeah. it could happen. <laughs> um, there was that conversation that he had with her mom. I, it, it was pretty much the mom was like, yeah, she's a oh, bitch. Yeah. I don't know what to tell you. But uh, well, I think in the in there, is so self destructive that her mom, oh, her mom is like, knows. genuinely worried about her. Yeah. She's like, no, this would be great. Like, this is her only chance to get out of this yeah. lifestyle. But she knows that Himena is going to keep fucking, uh, I don't know, felons. Yeah. That's what she exactly. wants. Exactly. If Mike committed a crime, I think Himena would be way more into him. Oh, totally. If he, like, slashed someone. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. So he's following her around the pool table. And then she tells him to back off. And he goes, see, see. And she's like, no, stay away. And he goes, no, I, I teach. Like, he wanted to have, like, a, a scene from the movie yeah. Ghost. Like, where he's, like, behind. 
Yeah, or he's behind her and they're both holding the pool. Or, like, if he's teaching her to golf, he's, like, you know, oh, yeah. standing well, like, behind her. First of all, you're too little. Your arms are not going to be able to, like, reach the pool stick from behind her, even. I just had a really great thought. I hope that Mike is on The Single Life. Because I will watch the hell out of that. Oh, he's so funny. He's such a shitty person. That would be a reason to watch. I he's guess. such a farty oh, person. Oh, God, yeah. He's such a gassy person. Okay, so they go and they sit down, and she's like, <laughs> oh, God, okay, so we're doing this. And then he just. She just she, all she wants is for him to give an indication, like, because she tried. She's like, okay, you know, did. we can work this out. And then two days goes by, and she's like, no, I. She's looking for that I next out. Hate you. She's, she's trying like, to get needs to him. say is one thing. Yeah. Exactly. Get him to kind of start a fight so she can be like, okay, well then I'm done. Oh, like done. Yeah. And uh, how did that even begin? I think he said, oh, oh no, that was in the cab when he said, your mom said you weren't in a serious relationship. And she's um, like, that's lies. I've been in lots of serious relationships. Oh, yeah. What a bitch. <laughs> no, he says something like, I can't help but notice things have been different since I stopped paying for everything. And she's yeah. like, oh, well, that's not even true because you're still paying my rent. And he's and like, I, and oh, I hate you. Oh. It's oh. like, I openly hate you and you still pay my rent. So that can't be it. What else? <laughs> <laughs> right. And he's like, oh, huh. well, I just oh, really, really. And then he grabs his backpack. I'm pretty sure. Right. And then he just bolts down the street in a classic. Pole. Well, she says, no, she, oh, she's, she's, like, okay, finally, so like, she's like, look, it's over. Yeah. I will pay for myself from now on. And he goes, well, then oh, he no. goes, I want to, well, whatever I paid for, I want to take it. And, and then she doesn't even take the bait. She's like, you can clear out my whole apartment. Well, for all she's I smart. Get you out. out. You're going to pack up my sectional sofa. In my <laughs> my dr- dog, dresser drawers. Uh, my the Thomas the Tank shirt, Engine. The Tom, Thomas the Tank Engine car beds. Train beds. The dog shit covered carpet. You're going to get that on your uh, Southwest flight home. Cool. I'd love to she see She told her sister a story about how she said that his shoe was dirty, so he threw it in the washer with the rest of the clothes or something. Okay, well, here's the thing. If he, like, rinsed it off with a hose, if he, like, got it all off... Yeah, and then, then yeah. put it alone in the washing machine. Alone. Mission, alone. And then, of course, you have to, like, do a cycle after by itself to clean out the washing machine. Yeah. I don't think that's bad. If he just threw them in there with clothes existing... I promise you that's what he did. <sighs> with shit on them. Uh, I, You know how I have those orange just so... Oh, yes. Just so Just so like shoes? Mary Cosby stepdads. Yes. Just like Mary Cosby's stepdad. I threw those in the washer the other day, wore them to work yesterday, and I think every single person was like, ooh, <laughs> new shoes. And I was like, god damn it, I just washed them. I washed well, my shoes. Because they're orange. They stand out. They're orange. That's why. <laughs> uh, ooh. Oh, new shoes. I'm like, I know I've been wearing these every day for the past six months that you've seen me. But well, thank they you look for cleaner now. pointing it out. What? They look, they look yeah. cleaner now. I just stuff those up a bit. Okay, so All right. Mike, well, anyways. little Mikey gets <laughs> mad, grabs He's his backpack. Up. Dashes I'm off. done. I'm done. I'm done. Uh-huh. He clears that. He clears I mean, that huge in step. In a leap. Okay, at first I thought it was a huge step. And I'm not just making this up. But you think he's just short. too he's just short. <laughs> I'm not making this it's up. It's a normal step. Because they shot him like from behind, leaping over yeah. what looks like a construction. Like they took like a, a section out of the road. Yeah. Yeah. But then there's another shot of him like from the side landing. And it yeah. just looks like a regular step up. Oh. He just wa- he made, he wanted to make it dramatic. He's like, yeah. I gotta gotta get this. I think gotta it was this landing. And I think it was just like a point of view thing, like little man a <laughs> Yeah. Like, I mean, but he bolted. What? That is a weird response to run away. Yeah. He was, and Paul he was a did it too. I've never gotten in an argument or any situation where I just felt the need to, I don't think I've ever felt the need to just sprint. Like oh, I've never felt the need to run sprint. Fast. But I've definitely, I've walked out on lots of arguments. But run. That's totally different. You oh, when never, you run, I never run with no destination to even go to. It's not like yeah. I'm running to my car. I'm running yeah. to my room. I'm it's like just that saying, running. like, if you ever see me running, call the police because yes. somebody's truly, chasing me. Truly. Truly. Yes. And he's going to the weird thing. He's like trying to find the darkest alley to run into. Yeah. What the fuck? So and Jimena's like kind of just stressed out of the table. The producer's like, "Do you think you're gonna regret this?" And she's like, "I, I really wanted her to be like, no." She's like, she like, says, "I don't know. She'll find someone else." And now she's got some clout. She's got some Instagram followers. She got the boobs. 
She can go back and She's be on, a cam girl. She can make exactly, a shit money. Exactly. She, she was like, uh, she was using him, but she was clear she was using him. He yeah. knew that this was a transactional relationship when he went into it. So for him to suddenly think she went into this agreeing and going along with it, like I'm paying for stuff. And then for him to think like, okay, well, I'm going to stop doing that now. And things are going to stay the same. No asshole. It doesn't go that Ugh. way. Get him on the single life. Though. I'd love to see Kim Bali on the single life too. Ugh. She's just so fucking awkward. I would love to see like who they have him hook up with on the single life. Because I want him to date who are his bachelor Like girls on Long Island. Oof. Who are going to be even bitchier than him, Aina. Oh God, I hope so. I hope so. Well, that's, is that that? Yeah, that's because we couple, didn't get right? any Ella and Johnny. Oh, damn it! I oh, I've been thinking about them all week. What's gonna happen? Will you just do your Ella for me crying? It just uh, made me so sad. Just he just like get off. We just got off the phone, and I could just tell he was really upset, and now I feel bad. Oh no! I didn't think you would make him that mad. He was really upset. Oh my god! Oh, Rex, shut up! <laughs> I love it so much. All right, what oh else we have coming goodness. up this week Okay, so here. coming up this week, we are going to be on We Love to Hate TV. Links in the show notes. We'll be recapping Teen Mom 2. And have you watched Sister Wives? Yet? Not yet. I'm going to watch it this afternoon. Uh, we're going to be well. watching Sister Wives, Season 1, Episode 8, which is the wedding episode. And well, that's over... next week. Oh, We already shit. put out our Sister Wives for this week. Yeah. Uh, you know, but that's coming it's, up. It's all, right. all fluid. Yeah. And coming up on Total Request Podcast, we have an episode of Euphoria, season one, episode oh, four. Oh, yeah. People are excited about it, actually. It's the carnival episode, but it's called The Shook Ones Part Two. And okay. oh, on season one, okay. tier one, an episode of Bring It, season two, episode 12, Copycats. And it's like a, a better version of Dance Moms, I'm going to say. Have you watched it? I did. I did watch that one. Oh, is it Geed? Oh, yeah. We're going to bring it because it's already been brought in. Oh, I yep. can't wait. And happy birthday, my bebe. Thank you. I love Thank you. Thank you, my bebe. And, uh, I mean, have a have a good day. Tell Char- Give Charlie some hugs for me. I will. I'll give Googie some hugs. Maybe I'll have him, I'll have Googie record a little birthday cameo for you, perhaps. That would actually be super cute. <laughs> Could you get your kids to record something for me? Would I'll they do try. it? I'll try. I'll try. Oh, that would that would oh. be the best birthday present ever. <laughs> They're self conscious like me and don't like their picture taken, but I'll I'll see what I can do. I'll see what I can do. Okay. All, All, right. Right. All right. Well, All right. Uh, hey, you guys, have a great week. Sing and happy birthday and wish Amanda a happy birthday. And we'll Thanks, talk everyone. to you later because you're 32 now. You're an adult. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> bye bye.